Prince of mm -hmm. Have we started? It's rolling. <laughs> I've been gone for like two minutes. I love it. <laughs> it's been rolling for the past two minutes. to uh, Between the Wheat with uh, Weston Vrooman. My name is Weston Vrooman and today we have uh, Donovan Session Hi. here. Mm -hmm. He's uh, joining mm -hmm. us and um, yeah, uh, this is our first episode so hopefully it goes well um, and uh, we're ready to eat. So um, in Between the Wheat what we like to do is um, we like to uh, we like to take sandwiches and we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of deconstruct them, we're gonna talk about them, we're gonna um, talk about the history of them, the culture, um, things like that, like where it came from. Um, today, we, uh, we're, we're gonna start simple. Simple, but complex. It's not simple. It's not simple. It's not. Um, but we're gonna do, uh, we, we decided to do a little PB&J. So, Duncan, what's your, what's your career with, with the PB&J so, so far in your life? So, PB&J and I go way back. Like, mm -hmm. they were there for me, like, during the good times and the bad. Um, but, I mean, it's such a simple sandwich. But this has to be the most out of the box. <laughs> we kind of zip this one that. out. It's a triple decker PB and J with a uh, French toast as the uh, bread on like a brioche kind of kind of action going on. We didn't do crunchy peanut butter. I didn't know you liked crunchy. Is it good? Mmm. You don't have to say it's good. You can say it's bad. No, okay, so like there's one thing. I don't lie, especially about food. Okay, alright. And this is That's so good. good. Alright. What kind of jelly is this? This is raspberry jelly. This is so what's good. What's your what's your favorite kind of jelly? What would we Um, I really love grape. Okay. And I mean because like who doesn't love grape? And I also really love uh apricot. The jam okay. is really good. It's like on your toast in the mornings, it's like so, so, so good. Mm. The raspberry's good. What about you? What's your favorite? Oh shit, that's good. <laughs> Can I cuss? Can I cuss on my own show? I don't know. Oh, that's, that's a medley. I think that that is, is very, it's a medley. Yeah. It's like a symphony like going on in your mouth. Like, it's definitely a lot. Like you gotta be oh, you gotta be good? hungry. But like Or or drunk. Wow, that's good. A little bit of um history with the PB and J. About nineteen oh one, I believe, is when it was first like recorded in like a cooking book, like kind of recipe book kind of thing. It was like considered a like high class it was like it was like a top tier kind of like food. The the PB and J was yeah, because it was kind of like a rare commodity at the time, and so it would only show up at like these high class events. Then, in the 1920s, mm -hmm. the sliced bread was invented, and after Wait, that, sliced bread is about to only be a hundred years old. Straight up, not even a hundred years ago, someone was like. Someone, in, someone was like, well, well, that would be nice if like, you had a pre-sliced bread, you wouldn't just, it? Like, knife and just like, oh, look at that. <laughs> we should sell it like this and not just the one loaf. Yeah. Wow. So after like after sliced bread was invented, then like the kids could then, it kind of became like commercialized. So like kids could then, um, mm. you know, like, it make, it, make it for themselves without oh, okay. using like dangerous knives or something like that. Oh, okay. So... You are more of a fan of crunchy peanut butter than smooth peanut butter. Yeah, and, and, and like it happened on a complete accident because um, a friend of mine offered to make a, me a sandwich, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And up until college, which is when I had crunchy peanut butter for the first time, I only ate smooth because like when you spread it on the bread, I'm like, ooh. Cover girl, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, nice commercials. so um, she gives me the sandwich, and I bite into it, 
And at first, I was like, she's trying to kill me. <laughs> what is in this? I was like, what is in this? And I think I was actually more shocked by, like, the sound that it made. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, bite into it and you just hear that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you... I feel like when you put something in your mouth... Keep going. So, no, keep yeah, going. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Uh -huh. When you put something in your mouth, and it's crunchy, and it shouldn't be... Or you're just not It's concerning, it. yeah. Yeah. If you're not expecting... Yeah, a crunch. Like if you if you had a bowl of soup, like tomato soup, and you like slurp yeah, it, there's, there better not be crunch. And you, you, all of a sudden, there's like pop rocks in your mouth. Like that's gonna <laughs> like what's well, gonna up freak in my you mouth. out a little bit. But who knows? It might be good. Yeah, not everything is smooth. Life isn't smooth. So why should your peanut butter be? <laughs> your a PB and J perfectly encompasses life as we know it. It's mm -hmm. it's it. it it is crunchy sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and it's got it's got a structure to it for sure. But in between, there's a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of saltiness, mm -hmm. you know. That's life, man. That's what that is. It's like its own perfect rainbow. P <laughs> PB and J is life. PB and J is a rainbow. I oh. cannot eat another bite. <laughs> I can't. Either. No, this is a. This I can drink some more wine though. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. I think that covers it. I think that covers, uh, you know, episode one of Between the Wheat. Um, thank you so much, Donovan. Thank you. For being for here. For dinner. And for, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for letting me feed you things you don't like. I don't have a theme song yet for this show. Okay. So, like, I was, I was, gonna, I was wondering if... Donovan, you could you could delight us with your envisionment of what that would be. Maybe okay. like a theme song for Between the Wheat. You know, maybe like just a little snippet of it would be good. Okay. I'll put the spotlight on you right now. Okay. For Between the Wheats. For Between the Wheat, 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 just Wheat. Between the Wheat. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Between the Wheat, you got Wheat, you Got tower dough. <laughs> you got everything between the wheat meat. <laughs> you got ham. <laughs> you got PB and J here between the wheat. Yes. <laughs> I'm digging that. Ooh, I like that. Tone down, girl. <laughs> you tone down. <laughs> oh, cut in print. That is great. Awesome. Sweet. Um, you know, uh, if you like this video, um, there'll probably be more. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe not. This is, might be a one and done, and you just <clears throat> experienced it. And, um, yeah, well, thanks for sticking to the end, um, for sure. If you liked it, I don't know. I don't know how these things have. What it subscribe um, to the Between the Weed channel, you know, hashtag. If you got sandwich ideas you want, comment below. Get some sandwich ideas out there. We want to amp up some sandwiches. We want to do more sandwiches, more talking to people about the culture and the history of the sandwich because it gets me pumped. It gets me juiced. Um, I, I, so juiced. Like, I want now, like, a sandwich tattoo. Like, on me. Really? I want Where would you get the tattoo? It'd be, like, right here. Over your heart? And it'd be, of it's course. It's clogged on her. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> It's going to be a, a tattoo of a sandwich, and then underneath it, it's going to say tacos to throw them off. What kind of white is I'm the gato negro. I don't know why I said it in that accent, but... <laughs> <laughs> We're gato negro?